since the year 2000, PSI has been in business to supply the plastics industry with high quality metal filtration and gear pumps. The beautiful part of these products is the screen changers exist for product purity. Whether it's new product or whether it's recycled, we're pulling particles out of the process so the material being delivered to the dye is pure. It's clear, it's consistent, and the material that's going out is grade A, no scrap. The gear pump is another part of that process, but the gear pump is tied more to the process itself. So we have an extruder, and the extruder melts and meters and delivers the material to the die. But as it does that, it does it at a cost. The extruder is perfect for melting, it's perfect for, for mixing, but when it comes to metering, the extruder's gotta push all that material down the line, and through that line, it's experiencing pressure drop. So the extruder's gotta generate high pressure to get that material down through the die. Well, the gear pump comes into the middle of that and it decouples the extruder from the, from the die. So now the gear pump is generating the pressure and as it's doing that, it's allowing the extruder to drop the pressure so we don't need a high input to the gear pump. Gear pump takes low inlet pressure, builds pressure to the die, and what that does is it takes the pressure generating function off the extruder. When it does that, it drives down the amp load that the extruder needs in order to deliver that. It drives down the shear stress that goes into the material. Because we're not having to overcome all of that pressure drop, now the pressure in the extruder may be 30%, 50% of what it was. All we need to do is deliver material to the gear pump to fill the teeth. So as that pressure comes down, energy demand comes down, shear stress comes down, melt integrity of the material goes up, and the gear pump is a volumetric metering device. So whatever's being fed into it, it's metering out at a very, very consistent level. So if we think about an extruder, the extruder is taking that material, melting it, bringing it through the barrel, and as that's happening, you're getting pressure variation in the barrel and that pressure variation makes its way down to the die, and that's just a normal part of extruder. If you add recycle in, and now you don't have a consistent feed shape, you're gonna have material melting at different rates. As that material melts at a different rate, it generates a surge in the extruder barrel, and that surge makes its way down the barrel and gets into the die. So most processors have to limit the amount of recycle they can put into the extruder in order to get a stable output Otherwise, their profile that they're making, whether it's a sheet or a profile, is gonna see a change in the gauge. With the gear pump, because we're decoupling that, you can put all the recycle in that you want, and the, gear, the extruder can have all the surge that it wants. The gear pump will generally reduce the surge in an extruder, or the pressure variation in an extruder, by anywhere from 20 to one to 50 to one. So what's coming through that die is dead consistent. And the product that's coming out then is stable. We're not having to put more material in there because we've got pressure variation and we could have a low end of the tolerance in there and we don't want to go below that. So now we've got to put more material into that, into that profile. It's a little bit thick, a little bit heavy, but we're still within our, our tolerances. Well, the gear pump, because it's so consistent, allows our customers to drive to the lower end of that tolerance scale. And when they can do that, they're actually putting less polymer in. So they're within, they're within the tolerance, they're within the weight limit, but they're on the low end of it, so more material is staying up in the silos. And when we're talking about either cost of product or we're talking about the environment, either one of these, the gear pump is delivering the same steady product and we're not putting more material in than we need to. We're not generating the kind of scrap because we went over tolerance or under tolerance. The gear pump allows our customers to deliver the identical output hour after hour, year after year. And they last 20, 30 years. They can be rebuilt forever and that's another huge benefit for the environment. We're talking about the lifetime of a machine. A gear pump can be rebuilt forever. Even if you wear the housing out, you can do a weld repair on the housing and bring the housing back stronger than it was when it was new. 
and all we do is put new parts in the pump. So we never throw them away, and they continue to provide the same benefit to our customers. Yeah.